This week on News Wiz. A young 15 year old day boarding school with an emphasis on holistic education, whose motto is Be Your Own Light, the Heritage School, Kolkata. From the city of the Charminar, a school that draws inspiration from the Spanish word carencia, meaning a place from which one's strength of character is drawn. DPS Nacharam, Hyderabad. And from the national capital, a school that believes the world is a family. Springdale School, Dholakua, New Delhi. The nation's first and biggest news quiz on Indian television is back again to test the news quotients of some of the brightest school children across the country. My name is Rajdeep Sardesai. Let's play News Quiz. That's right, this is a very special episode of News Wiz. It's the last of our nine preliminary rounds, the last chance for our teams to book a place in the semi-finals. Thus far, teams from smaller towns have dominated the action. Puducherry, Varanasi, Jamshedpur, Bhubaneswar, Ernakulam have all made the cut against some of the reputed teams from our metros. Today, though, we've got three big city teams vying for the chance to get that final semi-final slot. And we'll soon find out who's that going to be. One team from each of our three semis will make it to our grand final. And the team that wins the final will take home the fabulous News Wiz trophy. And of course, our episode winners will also get some great prizes. Like we do each week, we've got a clued on news guest with us today to help our teams if they ever feel lost in the maze of news and current affairs. Please welcome primetime anchor, Deputy Editor at India Today Television, Shivaru. Thank you, Rajdeep. You are a man of war. You like war. You like covering war. You don't like peace, the lovely world of quizzing? I think uh, the, the path towards peace is war, and that's why I'm interested in war. You're interested in war, yeah. purely as an observer? Yes. You don't want to tell these teams to be at war with each other today, right? No, be at war with each other, but uh, I think it's a completely different thing to be interested in war. Maybe you will be at some point of time. And the other thing, of course, that I believe you like is horror movies. Yeah. Horror films are actually the most difficult films to make. They're actually uh, uh, not as easy as love stories. They're not as easy as adventure movies. Uh, horror movies touch instincts, parts of your brain that no other movies can touch. And that's why the most complicated. Now he's going to help you. Right through this, if you ever are stuck, turn to Shiv through the show. He's going to help you with all the questions and all the answers, more importantly, that you need. But of course, it's not just Shiv. There's another friendly face coming on board to help our teams today. Our second news guest was all set to fly overseas to enroll in a dental college when he got a call informing him that he'd been picked for the Uttar Pradesh Ranji team. He went on to represent India in a test match and 39 one-day internationals with many memorable performances including a five-wicket haul against the West Indies in Toronto. Since his retirement from cricket, he's gone on to be a respected cricket analyst, has appeared in a music video and has even shaken a leg in the celebrity dance show Ek Khiladi Ek Hasina. Please welcome former off-spinning all-rounder for UP Delhi and India, current selector of the Delhi Ranji team, Nikhil Chopra. That's right, you've done quite a few things in your life. You've shaken a leg in a dance show, show it to me. Not that I'm very good, that's why I probably Just got out in the second round. There's no way I'm doing it. <laughs> what about dentistry? Before you became a cricketer, you almost became a dentist. Yeah, interestingly, my grandmother was a doctor. And in the family, my mom wanted one of the three kids to be a medical student or get into uh, being a doctor. And dad had played uh, volleyball for India. He wanted one of the children to go out there and represent the country in sports. Mm -hmm. As luck would have it, submitted all my papers in dentistry college in Newcastle and uh, England. But that's when I got a call to play first class cricket. That's when I guess the whole family sat together and says, well, he's got an opportunity. Let him continue playing sport. Any word of advice for these teams? Well, I'm sure these guys are here. I'm sure they're all very well equipped to go out there and answer uh, all the questions. All the very best to you. May the best team win. Nikhil, welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks very thanks. much. Join Shiv on the show. Okay. It's now time to meet our keen as mustard quizzers. First, from the national capital, please welcome Navya Ubroy and Pranab Bhogal, representing Springdale School, Dholakua, New Delhi. 
I would love to go to Stanford because that's like the big thing for research scientists. For me, photography is basically like conveying emotions and uh, stories. I like taking portraits, the expressions of people. In front of Google, the name itself means mischief. If she settles her mind on a one particular thing, she won't listen to anybody after that. That's Anyone not else? necessarily a bad thing. Pranav, Navya, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Pranav, I have to ask you, I'm told that you are inspired by your grandfather because he's got an inspiring story. Tell us more about it. I consider my grandfather to be one of the most hardworking people I've ever met, I've ever seen. Because he belonged to a very illiterate family and he lived in his village. So I believe that he's the one who, he studied himself. He also, he also did a part-time job to support his family and his studies while he was studying. So I believe that he's the one who brought my family from the illiteracy of the village to what it is today. So I'm, I consider him to be my hero. That's quite a journey. Navya? On the other hand, I'm told you're the feminist here. Yeah. What does feminism mean? Well, feminism for me, it means equality between uh, men and women. It's different from feminism, where women think that, okay, men are this and that. They hate men. They say that women are better than men. So that's not the kind of feminism, you know, I follow. When it comes to quizzing, you believe women as good as men or not? Yeah. Why not? Is that the reason you became a quizzer? Uh, yeah, maybe. You know, uh, in school, my one of my teachers, she told me that our school doesn't have girl quizzers. So I think you should go into quizzing because I've always loved reading about facts. So uh, somewhere at the back of my mind, it inspired me to pick up quizzing. That's fantastic. But you know, I believe there's something about Pranav that annoys Navya and I'm <laughs> going to get Pranav to do it. There's a dance step. What is this dance step that you have that annoys her? I basically, I roll my hands around and I, and I have you, no... What do you do? What I does roll he my do? hands around. He just rolls his hands and he just moves. Just show it to me? Uh, it's, it's strange, something like this. I don't this. know why it irritates her, I have no idea. Yeah, we think. call it in Bombay, we call it the bhajyada. <laughs> so that's what it is. Anyway, Pranav Navya, have a great news Thank whiz. You. Thank do you. Do very well. Our second team then is from the city of Kolkata. Please welcome on the show, Gaurav Parik and Iman Bhattacharya from the Heritage School in the city of Kolkata. I'd like to read minds of people who have impacted others in negative slash positive way. He's like a nosy little critter at points that he ends up knowing everything under the sun. I've heard a lot of Dubai and I just want to go and live there. Nothing extraordinary. When you do a coin toss, it can either be heads, that's me, or it can be tails, that's him. We've got it all covered. Okay, Iman Gaurav from the city of quizzing of Kolkata. Iman, I'm told you're a pianist. I find a lot of quizzers like the piano, not the guitar. Why? Well, it's tough for me to say about the other quizzes, but for me, piano has a soothing effect on your mind. So if you play it, you are more, uh, you have a higher chance to think properly and comfortably. That's a good answer. I'm also told about something not so soothing, Gaurav, which is that he once broke the buzzer in a quiz competition. Is that true? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, he's going to counter that, but... So what happened is, uh, he got really excited and he knew the answer and bang, the buzzer was broken. And I'm told Siddharth Basu was the quiz master. He must have been in a state. Yeah, he was. He was so scared at that one point. He just looked back at him and everybody was looking at him. And Iman, what are you? The excitable Bengali who gets excited when you see a buzzer, is it? It's a lie. It's a complete it's lie? A fib. It's a fib? Yeah. Gaurav. Your partner is calling you a fibber, but we leave that for another day. I'm told that you're a kayaker. You like kayaking? Yes, I love to kayak. Where do you kayak in Kolkata? Uh, so there's a place called Eco Park, which is a very well-developed lake that's come up very recently. And I love to kayak there and I do it almost every, every week for about an hour. Okay, great. And uh, I'm also told you like French. So please wish all your viewers and school children in French. What would you want to tell them? Bonsoir mes amis, comment allez-vous? Uh, Aujourd'hui, je vais participer dans une quiz. Uh, uh, supporter notre team. Merci. I just want to say bonjour. Right? Simple? Yeah. That's the easier way to say that. All the best, Timon. Gaurav, have a great news whiz okay. and do your city proud. Okay, our third team then. It's the school of DPS Nacharam in Hyderabad, represented by Pranshul Thakur and Anjali Jayanti. I like gardening, I like listening to music, and I'm a bathroom singer. So asamana ko aur do jahan ko chhod ke aayi tere paas. She speaks her mind. That is the most important thing I like. If I become a rich person, I would like to have a big bungalow, a big lab, and do research in in my house itself. 
Winning this show would make my parents very proud. Pranshul Anjali, welcome to the News Wiz. I'm told, Pranshul, you are a budding cricketer who likes to play fast bowling. I mean, I've got a spinner there in Nikhil. Why do you like to play fast bowling? Though I, I'm more passionate about chess and pursuing my mechanical engineering in a top university, a game of chess actually refreshes my mind sometimes in the evening. When I play a, a fast bowler, I, I can score runs in a much better way. Nikhil, is that true? Somebody is it who likes easier to play fast bowling than play an off spinner? Well, put it this way, somebody who likes to use the pace of the ball, yeah. you won't find too many in the country, I'll tell you that, Rajdeep. <laughs> That's right. Well, I, I used to be terrified of fast bowling. And you, I'm told, Anjali, are an amateur gardener. Yeah, I've been doing gardening since three years and I feel it as a stress buster. I talk to plants whenever I feel I'm weak, I'm disappointed. I got to share my feelings with plants. Look, I have to give up on this generation which is talking to plants, but do well. Today you're going to have to talk to me and then sometimes look like a plant maybe. Pranshul Anjali, have a great show. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so we've been introduced to our three teams. Time now to navigate what's in the news in current affairs. Let's play our first round in the news. In this round, each team must select one set from the given news stream and try and answer all the three questions it contains. Each question carries 100 points. The news guests can help teams with any one question. If teams get stuck, they can ask for the answer to be displayed as an anagram. But then they can only get 50 points for that answer. Get all three questions without any additional help and you get a 100 point bonus. Okay, teams, rules simple and clear in round one. We are going to start with the team of Springdale's New Delhi, Pranav Navya. Take a look at your various news clusters and decide which one you want to choose. Let's see. Stop press at US Open National Political Party and Apple iPhone. Your first question then for 100 points on the US Open is Who did Stanislas Wawrinka defeat to win the 2016 US Open men's singles title? Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic, you say with confidence. The right answer. Well done. You start with 100 points. I gave you a bit of a full toss there. The second question then on national political party which political party has recently been recognized as a national party by the election commission of india Trinamool congress sure yeah yeah fantastico it's the right answer well done it is indeed the all india trinamool congress remember india now has seven recognized national parties the congress the bjp bsp cpi cpm ncp and the trinamool the party which is in power now in the state of West Bengal and is now recognized in at least four states which makes it a national party. Your third question on Apple iPhone. Which Nintendo game franchise will now be available on iPhone 7? The Mario. The Super Mario and the Donkey Kong, all the Mario franchise. Pranav, you've just done an excellent first round. Well done, Navya Pranav. You get the bonus. Well done, all three. Answers right. Not bad, Nikhil. Phenomenal. Playing the new ball well. Let's see if Iman and Gaurav from Heritage School, Kolkata, you can play the new ball well as well. This is your group of news clusters. Take a look. Stop press. Stop press. Okay, you stop press at Barack Obama, beauty pageant and Swadeshi jeans. Your first question for 100 points on Barack Obama is... Barack Obama recently cancelled his meeting with which leader after the latter's anti-American outburst specifically against Mr. Obama? Rodrigo Duarte. Rodrigo Duarte. Rodrigo Duarte. Rodrigo Duterte. I will give it to you. Right answer. Well done. That's right. It is the Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte who warned the US President to keep off the subject of extrajudicial killings in his country's drug war that led to a spat 
between the two allies. Your second question then on beauty pageant. What is the name of the beauty queen of Indian origin who was crowned Miss Japan on 6 September 2016? Priyanka Yoshikawa. Priyanka Yoshikawa Imon. Are you certain of it? Yeah. It's the right answer. Well done again. Another 100 points. Priyanka Yoshikawa was born in Tokyo to an Indian father and a Japanese mother. She also has an elephant trainer's license. Well done. 200 points and a possibility now of getting your 100 and 100 point bonus if you get your last question right. Let's see on Swadeshi Jeans. Which Indian FMCG brand is planning to enter the apparel market by launching Swadeshi Jeans? Uh, we'll take help from the news guest. You'll take help from the news guest. Patanjali. Patanjali. You want to go with Shiv? We'll go Sir? with yeah. We'll go with Nikhil? I'll go with Shiv. <laughs> oh, for sure. You want to go with that? Patanjali Jeans, you're saying? Okay, well done, Shiv. Fantastic. Oh, it's the right answer. That's right, Patanjali is the right answer because Patanjali Ayurved Limited has been founded by the one and only Baba Ramdev and Acharya Balakrishna and Jeans is the latest business they've gotten. 300 points you get, you missed your bonus because of that last question. DPS Nacharam, your chance then to join the others. Let's take a look at your news clusters. Stop press. Stop press. Stop press at Rio Paralympics, Arunachal Tourism and Kapil Sharma. Your first question then for 100 points on Rio Paralympics is In what sport has Deepa Malik become the first Indian woman to win a silver medal at the Paralympic Games? Short putt. Are you sure? Yes. Short putt you say, right answer. 100 points right away. I've given each of you a full toss at the start. Your second question possibly tougher Arunachal Tourism which Hindi film star has recently become the brand ambassador of Arunachal Pradesh Tourism we'd like to take the news guest help news guest they want to take the news guest I, help I think it's John Abraham pretty sure it's John Abraham Nikhil I'll, I'll go with uh, Shiv you're going to go with Shiv again absolutely okay this man is in the news all the time <laughs> okay you want to go with Shiv John Abraham he says yes, yes. we will take the risk John Abraham is the right answer well done. Shiv is bailing out both these teams at the moment. John Abraham indeed has become the brand ambassador of Arunachal Pradesh tourism recently. Your third question then on Kapil Sharma is What does the letter B stand for in BMC in this tweet by comedian Kapil Sharma? Braha Mumbai. Brihan Mumbai is the absolutely right answer. Fantastic. Oh, well done, Prancho. It is indeed the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation, or as some think of it, as the Bombay Municipal Corporation. But the exact name is Brihan Mumbai, which you got right. And remember, Kapil Sharma was in the news for taking on the BMC, claiming he was being forced to pay a bribe of rupees 5 lakhs. You too end up with 300 points. So at the end of a high-scoring first round, we've got DPS Nacharam and Heritage School Kolkata with 300 points each. But it's the Springdale's team which has taken the lead from New Delhi with 400 points at the end of round one. Okay, we've had a high-scoring first round on News Whiz, but someone who knows a thing or two about high-scoring is leaving us. Nikhil Chopra, you've been a wonderful news guest because You've learned the secret of good partnerships. You relied on Shiv. It's all about partnerships. If your team is not doing well, you rely on your batting partner, your bowling partner. You've got to put pressure from both ends. <laughs> You've got to put... Uh, that's one way of looking at it. Any words of advice for the three teams today? Yeah, well, New Delhi started really well. They played uh, the opening round really well. But for Kolkata and Hyderabad, you're not that far behind. It's not just about playing the new ball well. Middle overs and slog overs change the course of the game. They lower down their guard, your opportunity to do well. That's so, right. best of luck. That's good advice because on the news whiz, we have the new ball, we have the middle overs and the slog overs. Only one round is over yet. Nikhil, thank you very much for joining thank you so us. Much. Aaj ka bohat simple sa hai. It's a very, very easy question on news whiz. And the question is, 
in which weight category has Sakshi Malik, the Sultan of India, won a wrestling bronze medal at Rio 2016? And the options are A, 48 kgs, B, 74 kg, C, 58 kg or D, 60 kg. Please SMS your answer to 52424. Type Newswiz, space Kushbu, space and your choice of the right option, A, B, C or D. You can also log on to www.newswiz.in and participate in the contest. If more than one person gets the answer right, the winner will be chosen by an automated random selection software. The winner will receive one eyeball laptop and a group ticket to the next Mind Rocks event. Contest closes midnight 20th September. Now for the winner of the viewer question asked by Katrina in episode 8. And the winner is Jitendra Maduli, 5th Cross, Ramesh Nagar, Bengaluru. Welcome back to News Wiz. It's time now to get into our second round today, but with a customary glance first at the scoreboard before we resume play. Let's take a look at our scores because DPS Nacharam Hyderabad has opened with 300 points, Heritage School Kolkata also with 300 points, but leading is Springdale's Dholakua New Delhi with 400 points. Okay, so it's time now for round two, ailing presidential candidates in the US, exploding mobile phones and an explosive century-old dispute over water. Let's play this week's top story. In this round, we'll show you six questions related to our top story. Each team is assigned with a question which they can try and answer for 100 points. Other teams can press the buzzer at any time, but can only answer if the assigned team misses it. The correct answer on a pass could get you 100 points, but if it's wrong, that's a minus 50. If no teams get the answer, we'll show you four possible answers. And all four teams can buzz for a chance to answer the question. If a team answers the question at this stage, it can earn 50 points or lose 50 if it's wrong. Okay, teams, hands on the buzzer and Iman, you're not allowed to break it as per Gaurav's instructions to me. And our top story this week is river water sharing and disputes. That's right, in a week where the Kaveri wars have led to much violence in Karnataka. The first question then to DPS Nacharam Hyderabad. The genesis of the Kaveri water dispute lies in two agreements in 1892 and 1924 between the Madras Presidency and which other princely state? Springdale's, you pressed the buzzer, but the question is assigned to DPS Nacharam. Bangalore, Karnataka. Wrong answer, I'm afraid. The question passes, I'm afraid, to Springdale's Tholakua. Because you went for the buzzer first. It's my sore. Are you sure of yeah. it? Fantastico, it's the right answer. Well done. Mysore was the princely state with whom Madras Presidency first signed the Kaveri Waters Agreement. Okay, let's then take a look at the second question and this is to Heritage School Kolkata. On 12th September 2016, the Supreme Court of India modified its previous order and has asked Karnataka to release how many cusacks of water to Tamil Nadu per day till 20th September. Springdale's, you press the buzzer, but the question is to Heritage School, Kolkata. 30. 30. 30. 3 0. 3 0. Wrong answer, I'm afraid. Yes. It was earlier 1500 cusacks, but sorry, 15,000 cusacks, and now it's 12,000 cusacks. Well done, Navia. It is indeed 12,000 cusacks. The earlier order had asked for 15,000 QZX to be released daily for 10 days. The new order that triggered the violent protest was for 12,000 QZX. Spring days, Dholakua, a chance for you to take that lead even more forward. Which well-known Udupi hotel in the heart of Chennai was recently attacked with petrol bombs by unidentified assailants, allegedly over the Kaveri Rao? Springdale's Dhola Kua, you have four seconds. Nope, you haven't scored the hat trick there. Let's then take a look at the options. Teams, hands on the buzzer. You still have a chance to make up lost ground. These are your options New Woodlands Hotel, Udupi Home, Leela Palace, and the Savera Hotel. Yes, Springdale's Dhola Kua. New, Woodlands, New Hotel. Woodlands Hotel. You seem to have studied Kaveri Waters well. It's the right answer again. Well done. Navya and Pranav. 
You're on a bit of a roll there. Let's take a look whether the other teams then can make up lost ground. There's plenty more. Take a look at your fourth question. Which water distribution treaty between India and Pakistan signed in 1960 gives the rights on three eastern rivers to India and the three western ones to Pakistan? DPS Nachara. Your time, I'm afraid, is up. Yes, Springdale's Dholakwa, you've again pressed the buzzer. Indus Water Treaty. Indus Water Treaty, fantastico! Right answer, well done! Remember, Pakistan has been planning to move the Court of Arbitration regarding India's projects, which it claims violates the 1960 Indus Water Treaty. Heritage School, Kolkata, don't worry, the world is not falling around you. Take a look at your question. Which river that originates in Sikkim has been the reason of dispute between India and Bangladesh? Tista. Tista. Iman is saying Tista. Right answer, well done, Iman. Tista indeed is the river which originates in Sikkim that has been a reason of dispute between India and Bangladesh. Springdale's Dholakua, a round that you've done remarkably well in, a chance really to build your lead further. A pact was recently signed between Maharashtra and Telangana that will pave the way for construction of barrages on which river and its tributaries. Come on, teams. Krishna. Krishna is the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Anyone else wants to go on the buzzer? I'm opening it up now to all. These are your options. Yes, the Heritage Godavari. School, Kolkata. Godavari. It's the right answer. Well done. It is indeed the Godavari. Well done. You made up some lost ground there, Heritage School, Kolkata. But we've had an outstanding round from Springdale's Dholakua. They are clearly up with their river water disputes because at the end of round two, DPS Nacharam Hyderabad, 300 points. Heritage School Kolkata, 450. But at the halfway point, our clear leaders are Springdale's Dholakua, New Delhi, Navya Pranav with 750 points. Okay, we've had an impressive round two by the Delhi School. Shiv, not bad at all. They're tracking their rivers. Yeah, absolutely. And Important issue. An important issue now, of course, is the critical time because it's time for round three where we have tremendous fact resource in the form of the internet at our team's disposal. The web, remember, is a wondrous place, but where you will have to be able to track its twists and turns nimbly, swiftly and accurately to be able to come out on top of this one. You can score heavily, but remember, there will be the timer that's ticking away. Let's find out then what happens in our third round? Let's play match time. In match time, each team is assigned one question. You'll see five images related to one topic with eight possible options. Teams have 75 seconds in which to match all five images with their correct answers. For every correct match, you get 50 points. One team member can search the internet for the right answers through our Gyan portal. In the last 30 seconds of the challenge, you can ask for the news guest's help as well. If you get all the five answers correct without the news guest's help, you get a 100-point bonus. Okay, easy round up ahead. You can score a lot of points, but you need to connect well to the internet. So Springdale's Dholakwa, your first of the block. Now we are proud of take a look at what your option and your question is. Match these international dignitaries with their countries who have visited India in 2016. Who's going to stay with me? Who's going to I'm ship? I'm going to the Gyan portal. Navya is going to Gyan portal. Okay, go off. And these are your options, Pranav. Tim Cho, AFLCC, P. Chanocha, M. Sirisena, and A. Yamin. Lots of tongue twisters there. Let's see whether you can get them right because these are your options. LCC is Egypt. MC Srina is Egypt. M C is Egypt. No, no, LCC. 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 LCC is Egypt. Okay, LCC is Egypt. Hitin Kwa is Myanmar. Tin Cho. It's Myanmar. You want to go with Mao? You're going to go with everything she says. Yeah. Okay, put it in. Uh, 
Chanocha is Thailand. Chanocha is Thailand. Chanocha, you're sure, is Thailand? Yeah. Sirisena okay. is Sri Lanka. Sirisena is Sri Lanka. Sure of that again? Yeah. Sirisena? Yeah. Okay. A Yami. Your word for it, Sri Lanka. You've got A one to go. You can A Yamin is Maldives. A Yamin is Maldives. A Yamin is Maldives. Navya, you want to test anything at all? I'll just, just check just one or two, check. maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, I'm going to lock it in. Okay, Navya, come here. Navya Pranav. You seem to have relied entirely on Navya's ability to crawl the web. Politics is not my cup of tea. Politics is not your cup of tea. Okay, Navya, is that your cup of tea? Not really, but I knew Egypt at least. Without you knew that. Egypt at least. Okay, let's take a look whether you got them right. Tincho, you said Myanmar. It's the right answer. Well done. Then you said LCC. Right answer from Egypt, who was just in the national capital recently. P. Chan Ocha from Thailand is the right answer again. Well done. M. Sirisena, Sri Lanka. Right answer. <laughs> and A. Yamin of Maldives. If you've got this right, you also get your bonus. It is the right answer. Fantastic. Oh, you've scored your full points again. Not bad, Navya. Today you're on a roll. You use the internet well, and that's the way to do match time. Okay, our second team on match time then is Heritage School from Kolkata. Okay, Gaurav Imon, let's take a look at your question. Your chance now to make up lost ground. Match these recently published books with their titles or subtitles. Who's going to stay with me and who's going there? I'll go to the Gyan portal. Okay, Gaurav's going to the Gyan portal. Imon, don't look so nervous. Life's not so bad. Let's take a look at what you're getting as your options. Uh, pretty easy. Asha Bhosle, Rekha, Tipu Sultan, Chris Gale and Shashi Kapoor. And these are your options. So 75 seconds have started. Six Machine, Chris Gale. Six Machine, Chris Gale. Sure? Yeah. You know your cricket? Okay, you're saying Chris Gale, Six Machine. Check one, two, three and five. Okay. Uh, Tipu Sultan is Lion of Mysore. Lion of Mysore. Lion of Mysore, you want to go with it? Yeah. Tipu Sultan, Lion of Mysore? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Put it in. Lion of Mysore, Tipu Sultan. What else? One, three and five. Householder, the star, Jamaican Hurricane, a musical biography, Tiger, the untold story, the shooting star. Um, the shooting star is uh, Shashi Kapoor. Go, go, go with that. Yeah. The shooting star you're saying is Shashi Kapoor. Please put it in. No, no, it's not. It's the householder star. Sorry. You want the householder, the star for Shashi Kapoor. You've changed yeah. it. Okay, you've got 17 check, check seconds. Check Rekha, check Rekha. Uh, Rekha Asha and Bo Asha Bhosle. Asha Bhosle, go with musical biography. Okay, Asha Bhosle, musical biography. Eight seconds to go. Rekha, what do you think Rekha would be? Untold story. Untold story? Should I lock it? No, go ahead. Okay, lock it in then. Come on in here. There was a little bit more difficult, some might believe, but let's take a look whether you've got them right. Asha Bosle, you said a musical biography. And I would have thought you would have said that right at the start, given that she's a music star. It's the right answer. Well done. Rekha, the untold story, you said very, very softly at the end. It's the right answer again. Rekha is the untold story. Chris Gale, you said six machine right at the start. Hmm. Right answer again. He is indeed the man who hits all the big sixes. His biography recently released. Shashi Kapoor, the householder, the star. You changed your mind there. You looked at Google and you got it right. Well done. That's the advantage of using the internet. But you said Tipu Sultan, Lion of Mysore, without even looking at the net. And Check. Tipu was known across the world. Tiger. I'm afraid not as the Lion of Mysore, it's the wrong answer. Tipu is the tiger. And that was the easy answer I would have thought that you would have got. You got four out of five. You've done reasonably well, but you've got that mistake between tiger and lion. Our final match time then question is to the team from Hyderabad of Pranshul and Anjali. 
Okay, guys, don't look so nervous. You like to talk to plants? Let's see if you can get a favorable question here on Match Time. Match these women directors with their films that released or will be released in 2016. Who's going there? I'll be here. Yeah. Okay, Anjali is going there. Pranshul, you're with us. Okay. Take a look at what your options first are. Gauri Shinde, Divya Khosla, Radhika Rao, Sudha Kongara and Nitya Mehra are your five women directors and these are your options. Now use the web well and you will get it all right. Uh, Divya Khosla Kumar will go with uh, Sanam Teri Kasam, I guess. One Divya Khosla, Divya Khosla, Sanam Teri Kasam. Kasam. Okay, yeah. put it in. Okay, just for a minute. Just Sounds for familiar? Any of this looking familiar or not? Yeah, it is uh, Sanam Ray. I'm sorry. Divya Khosla will go for Sanam Ray. Then, okay. Uh, yeah. Divya Khosla for Sanam yeah. Ray. Okay. Yeah. Pranshul, I see you're entirely relying on Anjali for the film answers. Not to worry. Come on, Anjali. Gauri Shinde, Gauri Shinde, Gauri Shinde. Gauri Shinde, what is this? You want, you want to rely on yeah. Shiv? You can use Shiv also now. Yeah, please. Could you please help us? Yeah, fine. We'll go with you. Use the Google well. Just put their names I'm in. Trying. It's trying. There's nothing. It's English only. That's so not there. So would it go? Uh, movies. Dear Zindagi. Dear Zindagi, Gauri Shinde. Dear Zindagi, Gauri, Gauri Shinde. Shinde. Okay, put it in. Radhika Rao, Barba, Dekho. Is it cool? Radhika Rao, so. Flying Jump. Radhika Rao, Barba, Dekho. Okay, Radhika Barba, Rao, Barba, Dekho. Barba, Dekho. Sudha, okay. Sudha Kongra, I think it's Happy Bag Jaigi. Okay, your time is up. You've got to come back, Anjali. You had to use the Google intelligently at times like this. But let's take a look at what you've got so far. Dear Zindagi was Gauri Shinde. It's yeah. the right answer. Well done. You said... Sanam Re Divya Khosla. Right answer again. Well done. Radhika Rao, you said bar bar dekho. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. Sudha Kongara, you said happy bhag jayegi. I'm afraid that's again the wrong answer. And you had no time left for Nitya Mehra. The right answer for Radhika Rao was Sanam Devi Kasam. And the right answer for Sudha Kongara was Sala Khadus. And the right answer for Nitya Mehra was Bar Bar Deko. Okay, so round three over and a clear pattern has emerged. A clear leader has emerged. Because at the end of round three, we have DPS Nacharam Hyderabad with 400 points. Heritage School Kolkata with 650 points. But well ahead is Springdale's Dholakua New Delhi with 1,100 points. Remember, three rounds done, but the 500-point gorilla in the room awaits on the other side of this break. So, Shiv, plenty to play for still. Absolutely. And we've still had rounds where teams have won only on the last question. News whiz, we are three-fourths of the way to deciding who's going to be the final team that moves to the semi-finals. Our last prelim show, which team will dominate this final quarter? Before we get into the gameplay, let me get a quick word of wisdom from our news guest because, Shiv, one team is way ahead of team two and three. What's your word of advice for the two teams that are trailing at the moment? I think they've all been really impressive. And I think uh, the very fact that they've been on this quiz shows that they're interested in the world around them. My advice to be, no matter what happens here on this stage, going forward, read newspapers every day. There's nothing as exciting as the news. Let's then look at the scores first. 400 points, DPS Nacharam Hyderabad. 650 points, the Heritage School Kolkata. Leading is Springdale's Dholakua New Delhi with 1100 points. But remember, there are 500 points to be snapped up or lost in the abyss in the last round of News Whiz. So put on your safety goggles. This is the high voltage round that will decide our final semi finalist. We know it as News Buzz. In News Buzz, we will ask five audiovisual questions that are open to all teams on the buzzer. A correct answer will gain you 100 points, while an incorrect answer means you lose 100 points. Remember, you need to answer questions the moment you press the buzzer. Otherwise, it's an instant 100 point deduction. All clear? Let's buzz. 
Okay, teams, hands on the buzzer. Let's see who wins News Buzz. Your first question. Which newsmaker's voice is this? Log governance to change chaunde hai. Log chaunde hai ke koi leader changa aave jada kamzori nu taakat ch tabdeel karde. Raha di koi baada hove unu sabalta di siri bana de. Haram chitta ch tabdeel karde. Come on teams, time up. Anyone wants to go for the buzzer? Yes, you want to take a chance. Yes. Navjot Singh Sidhu. Navjot Singh Sidhu is the right answer. Well done. It is indeed Navjot Singh Sidhu speaking there in Punjabi when he announced the formation of a fourth front in Punjab. Let's take a look at your second question. Who is this sports person that you are about to see? Yes, Springdale's Dholakua. It's Maria Panthangavelu. Maria Panthangavelu is the right answer. Well done. Indeed it is the gold medal winner the pride of the country at the Rio 2016 Paralympics winning a gold in the high jump Your third question is identify this lady you're about to see who's walking the ramp DPS Nacharam go for it Reshma Qureshi Reshma Qureshi is the right answer. Well done, DPS Nacharam. You woken up, woken a little late, but good for you. Acid attack survivor Reshma Qureshi recently walked at the New York Fashion Week. Your fourth question is: Who is this army general? Yes, Heritage School, Kolkata. Rahil Sharif. Rahil Sharif is the right answer the army chief of Pakistan well done heritage school kolkata 600 points dps nacharam 750 heritage school kolkata 1200 springdale's dholakua you have an opportunity to become the highest scoring team on newswiz if you get this right let's see if you want to go for it identify the speaker you're about to hear from this clue it is future ready and it can easily be upgraded to support even more data as technologies advance heritage school kolkata mukesh ambani fantastic oh well done it is the right answer okay so we were a tough round of news buzz where every team has almost matched the other but we have a clear winner today of news wiz because our final scores are dps nacharam hyderabad 600 points the heritage school kolkata 850 but our big winners today falling just short of the record springdale's dholakua new delhi with 1200 points navya and pranav you are our big winners join me well done guys not bad at all congratulations shiv do join us because at the end of the day you wanted to play a bit safe i think yeah, right yeah towards the end because we calculated that okay we're going to win but we we, we knew didn't want any negatives you <laughs> calculated the maths and were risk free <laughs> next time you might have to take risk yeah, because you have now gone into the semi finals where the competition gets tougher but shit not bad excellent uh, really impressed by uh, your uh, knowledge of what's going on obviously you guys read newspapers or watch tv which one is it Both. read news yeah. i personally read news yeah. on the net every day <laughs> never stop thank you so much shiv and nikhil for joining us uh, to the teams that didn't make it to the next round all i can say uthe sabke kadam dekho ram pam pam aji aise geet gaya karo kabhi khushi kabhi gham tara ram pam pam haso aur hasaya karo simple ways to all you at home thanks for watching join us next week as we ramp up the excitement with the next leg of our national inter school news quiz we are going to a first semi final you can't afford to miss that so don't my name is rajdeep sardesai until we meet again on news quiz remember news is knowledge